From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's staff story is National Nurses Week. National Nurses Week takes place every year from May 6th through May 12th. It starts every year on National Nurses Day, May 6th, and concludes on May 12th, Florence Nightingale's birthday. This year's theme is Nurses Leading the Way. So we asked nurses across the system what advice they could give all nurses on how best to lead. Invariably, most responded that growth through continuous education was very important. We caught up with Bon Secours Memorial College of Nursing's new Dean of Nursing to talk a little bit about that. Let's listen in. Well, my name is Barbara Cerbello, and I am very privileged to be the new Dean of Nursing for our Bon Secours Memorial College of Nursing in Richmond, uh, Virginia. I have a passion for nursing. And um, I've, this is my 38th year in nursing this year. And uh, where I am at in my career is that I would love to see the development of our clinicians of the future and our leaders of the future. And that is what I'm dedicating myself to now. Nurses Week is coming up. Yes, it is. Do you know the theme of Nurses Week this year? Yes, um, Nurses Leading the Way. Uh, nurses Week is May 6th through May 12th every year. And nurses are definitely leaders. Um, my doctoral dissertation focused on leaders at the point of care. And uh, nurses lead from wherever they are. Not only are wonderful chief nurse executives, nurses who are directors or managers, but it's the nurse caring for the patients who are there as advocates um, and really um, practicing and leading safe care that's coordinated across the continuum. So our nurses must be leaders. Our College of Nursing has a great role in producing leaders for tomorrow. Uh, right now we have approximately 400 students and uh, our strategic plan at the college is to continue to grow, to meet the needs of our patients, our community, our organization. The future of nursing and nursing leadership, nurses are at the sacred space and at a privileged place taking care of uh, our community. I see nurses as integral because we are caring for people throughout the lifespan. I'd like to um, lift up and thank all of the nurses. Nursing is a wonderful career and a profession, and it's a discipline uh, based on science and art. Um, education is extremely important, and I'm not saying that just because I happen to be the dean of nursing at this particular time, but the research is there. The higher the education, the more um, certifications that nurses have, the better prepared they are to um, take care of population health, to make those critical decisions, be advocates for patients, really be attuned to safety, and to be able to apply evidence-based principles to the care of patients. And you have to have a passion for what you do. May 12th is the last day of Nurses Week, but all month long, BSN Headline News will bring you stories about nurses and nursing. For your part, lift up the nurses around you. Let them know that they truly reflect good help to those in need. In other news, as we go through the eight values of Bon Secours, today we thought that growth might be appropriate here. Bon Secours feels that growth is developing and improving our services and promoting self-renewal and development programs for those with whom we work, our organization, and our communities. It implies expansion, embracing change, and seeking new opportunities as an organizational way of life. Growth behavioral norms include support change as essential to the growth of the individual and the organization. Promote the personal as well as the professional development of our people through the commitment of time, human, and financial resources. Create and identify opportunities for the system to grow in accordance with its mission. Participate in the growth of the communities we serve. Encourage and foster balance among the spiritual, intellectual, social, financial, family, 
and physical aspects of ourselves. Growth, just one of the values of Bon Secours. Finally, as National Nurses Week comes to a close, both National Hospital Week and National Nursing Home Week get underway. National Hospital Week was first celebrated in 1921. Today, every state celebrates National Hospital Week, which is sponsored by the American Hospital Association. The commemorative celebration serves as a reminder that hospitals are foundations of the communities that built them and nurture them, and that hospitals serve people in every community from all walks of life. For Bon Secours, a tip of the hat to all of our 19 acute care hospitals that are owned, managed, or are affiliated with us through joint ventures. National Nursing Home Week spotlights nursing home residents and staff and encourages all to celebrate those that make a positive difference in their lives every day. A supportive and caring environment such as a nursing home provides enrichment for residents and families to continue growing, learning, and teaching through various ways. This week, Bon Secours celebrates our nursing homes from across the system, from Maria Manor Nursing and Rehabilitation Center in St. Petersburg, Florida, to Maryview Nursing Care Center in Suffolk, Virginia, to Shavir Nursing Care Center in Riverdale, New York, to Shavir Pavilion in Warwick, New York, to St. Francis Nursing Center in Newport News, Virginia, to St. Joseph's Place in Port Jervis, New York. Please join us in celebration of National Hospital Week and National Nursing Home Week this week, a celebration of institutes that uphold our commitment of being good help to those in need. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.